<laughs> All right, everybody. What's going on? It is the OP boys. We are back in the building. For those of you that don't know us, welcome. And we are here to talk about everything comic book related in this world that we are living in, you know, giving y'all this good classic entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Along with some funny jokes here and there, making sure that your day is good. <laughs> so I am the host, Ties World TV. How you guys doing? And this is my other host right here, Buggy, the happiness clown. What's going on? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Yes, yes. Guys, just disclaimer, we are very tired. Uh, my boy had to do overtime at work. He is tired as hell. So that's why he's a little bit quiet right now, but it's okay. And I'm tired too, but this is what happens when you are an adult. Yeah, you so you kids out there, enjoy it. Enjoy it while yes. you can. Please. Because once you Stay hit 30, kid. you're going to have all those back problems. Yo. <laughs> that was crazy i remember i was at work one time with my old job and somebody told me i'll never forget this be a kid for as long as you can oh yeah oh yeah because when that when 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 adulthood hit it's gonna hit <laughs> yeah once you turn 18 forget about Yo, it can't eat can't eat the same things no more can't oh, can't, can't stay up no more can't, can't do nothing dude i can't even I'm glad you brought that up. I can't even stay past 12 o'clock. Yo, it's <laughs> crazy. When I 12 o'clock be hitting, I just get, get daisy eyed. Like, oh, I do nothing. I'm tired. We're going to take a nap. <laughs> I'm a nap Bro. right here. Right here. Yo, oh my God. See, this is what I'm saying. We, we here for the happiness stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everything in the world is going crazy. We try to make it sane here. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do this podcast. You know what I'm saying? It's therapy for us. Without oh, going yeah. to real therapy. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, man. But, you know, before we start off, um, I did want to address this. Um, actor Lance Reddick. Um, I think that's how, I believe that's how you say Yeah, Lance yeah. Reddick. Uh, fortunately passed, I think Friday he passed? Friday, yeah. Yeah, uh, yesterday he passed, um, 60 years old. Um. Crazy. Dude, yeah, it's crazy. Um, he's done a lot of stuff throughout the years. Oh, uh, yeah. most notably, The Wire. He was in The Wire. Um, and he's done, like, a lot of voice work, too, for people that don't know. Uh, he was Ra's al Ghul and Beware the Batman, which is an underrated Batman show. Go check it out. Um, I think he was in a few video games, no? Horizon uh, right. Zero Dawn. Oh, he was uh, in that. I never Destiny. played that. He... Poke it out. Yeah, he was Zavala in Destiny. Um, oh, I didn't even know that. That's dope. Okay. He was also in Rick and Morty when they had the episode um, The Vindicators. That that shit was great. I thought I was Keith, I thought I was Keith David. Keith David plays the uh, president. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. See, that's how I got to watch Rick and Morty now. That's crazy. <laughs> um, But yeah, but, you know, he's done, a, and, and, you know, most recently, he's been in the John Wick franchise. And, I think and, he was and that's, where, that's where I want to bring it up. Like, the timing of it is so weird. So like, crazy. The, the like, John Wick 4 is yeah. just about to drop next week. And, like, it's Literally. And I and, think, and, and from and what I've been hearing, it's Keanu the best one. And, uh, the director said that they're dedicating this movie to him. What? I mean, yeah. Well, they said that before, after he died, right? After, after he died, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was about to say, okay. <laughs> it's and, not funny, but yeah. and the uh, the ballerina sp uh spinoff from John Wick, he already recorded most of his scenes. So. Oh, so he's gonna be in that too. Oh, great, great. So that's gonna be the see, last. We last we see him. We see him in the John Wick uh, verse. Well, at least he did something, you know, at least he got some last minute stuff before he, you know, passed, oh, yeah. unfortunately, um, prematurely, I really think so. Because he was still, he was young. He was like, he's the 60s, 60s still young out of here, you know, mm -hmm. and it's it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh, that's why, guys, you know, make sure you're healthy. Make sure you, I don't know what he passed from, but. Make sure yeah, you guys go to, to the doctor. What he passed away from, I couldn't find it. Yeah, make sure you guys go to the doctor, man. Like seriously, make sure 
Y'all doing your thing out here. You know what I'm saying? You never know when it's going to be your time. Okay? Yeah, for real. For you real. know, for real. Live your life. Live it. You know, don't, I mean, don't do no crazy stuff. Like, you know, no, no, every once in a while, every once in a while, every once in a while. Yeah. You got to like mix it good with the bad. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a great Jedi out here. You know what I mean? Um, but still people hate that term. What? Great. Great Jedi. I don't Nah, listen, it'd it be like that. I mean, great Jedi's are real out here. They, no, they ain't know. one that's just really for one and the other. Honestly, great Jedi's make the most sense because it's like the world. The world is great. There's no black or white. It's mixed. Some stuff start, is cool. I was about to start riffing Michael Jackson. It don't matter if you're black or white. Just Michael Jackson in this bitch. <laughs> See, guys, this is why you need to subscribe. You get all... This is why you need to subscribe and get some sleep. Yes, you please. Might do some crazy this is stuff why, like that. you know? Yes, yes, yes. This is why. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get all this uh, entertainment out here. But no, on a serious note, um, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that um, Lance Riddick, Mr. Riddick, has passed. Um, he did leave a great catalog of work. Oh, he did. And, um, you know, blessings to the family, you know, condolences to the family, and rest in power, Mr. Riddick. You will be missed. All right, y'all. So listen, um, aside from that important thing, we got a lot to get through. So we going we gonna get through that. Let's see what the time is. All right, we making some good time. All right. Um, so I guess we could start down and work our way up. Okay, so uh we got some Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse news. So uh I think I'm gonna put the picture up here uh when I get a chance. Yeah, I'll put the picture up here. So apparently we got a new picture of the vulture who is fighting um 2099 Spider-Man, which looks very, very dope. Very dope. I don't know if this is the 2099 vulture, but either way, it's, this looks says, very dope. It says uh medieval vulture. Medieval vulture. Okay, got you. Well, I mean, it looks very dope, regardless. Um, and I also want to get to the quote that oh, was yeah. told here. Oh, too. Yeah. oh yeah. Um, this was dope. Uh Buggy, can you read it for us real quick? Can you sure. find it? Okay. I already have it up here. Uh, people oh, who've seen across uh, the Spider-Verse have right. told us that it feels like Empire Strikes Back of the Spider-Verse franchise, which that right there got me. That out. is crazy. That is. Oh, it, it shows you worlds you haven't seen, and it's an emotional story that ends in a place where you need to see the third one. So, yeah, it's our, it's our empire, Christopher Miller said. That is crazy. And the only thing I can really think of is the inheritors are coming. And I don't know if you guys know, but the, the inheritors are people who are not to be messed with, okay? The inheritors, <laughs> um, especially Mulan, he is he's a prop, okay? He's out here throwing hits like the Hulk. Be <laughs> giving Peter problems out here. If you haven't read the comic, go read that. I believe it's J. Michael Sosinski's, um Spider-Man run. It's crazy, bro. One of the best Spider-Man Peter Parker moments in that in that in that story itself. Insane. Um, but I think we're getting the inheritors because the inheritors are a problem. They are essentially um they essentially are like vampires that feed on uh spider people, life force. That's how they sustain themselves. You know what I mean? So I could see them coming here, um, which is pretty crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm, yo, my hype level for this movie is insane. It, it, it's either this or the Flash movie. I'm the most hyped for. Uh, why not both? <laughs> you know, you're right. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. And um, you know, John Wick four coming out too. And guys, look out. We will be doing a review on that, so look out for that. Um, other than that, I'm so excited for this movie, bro. Like seriously. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like for real. Uh, okay, so. Speaking of Flash, we actually got some news from uh from the movie. Um the flat, you know, Flash that's coming out in June. Yeah. I'm very I'm very hyped for that. Uh, apparently Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne in the movie is deciding whether he becomes Batman or not. Mm -hmm. Probably this is probably in the like first 30 so minutes of the movie, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, we're probably going to see Keaton's Bruce Wayne. And he's probably trying to figure out, yo, I, 
I don't know if I want to do this again. I don't know. Because even if you look at the trailer, the beautiful... That trailer! Yo, Buggy, that trailer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's one of the best trailers. One of the best trailers I've seen in a very long time. Um, Even when you see that trailer, you see that everything looks like it's been, like, in storage, basically. Like, even if you see the Batmobile, it was under some covers. Uh, yeah, it was under the cover. And then you take it off, you see, like, Batmobile, or whatever. Uh, we even saw that in in fandom when they showed like a few images and stuff. Yeah, they did. So, like, how do you feel about that, uh, Bucky? How do you feel about that whole situation? I'm okay with it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because you know what, bro? I was saying this um off off camera too. I feel like this is gonna be. I feel like Keaton's Batman is gonna be the Thomas Wayne of this movie. Yeah, I remember you said that before, but then, I don't know, I was, like, iffy on it. Yeah, but, I mean, I I, I don't think he's going to be full Thomas Wayne, but it's, like, he's taking that role, like, that Batman yeah, yeah, yeah. role. I think and, and, that's, and that's what Keaton's I'm, role is. I'm curious as to, like, what was changed as far as, like, um, the Flashpoint story. Yeah, and that's my thing. Like, and that's why I'm kind of confused. But we'll find out when we get to the movie. When Barry goes into Flashpoint, does the Burton verse mix with co- current continuity, like 2013? Like, because that was another thing, because I believe they said that this is going to be in 2013. That was okay. when Man of Steel first started. Okay. That's when Zod and the other, that's when everybody started coming in. So is the Flash, is, is the Burton verse going to mix with the Flash verse? Is that what we getting? I think so. I don't know. But I, I hope so. Because that, that's... Oh, my gosh. It's going to be cool. Yo, what if we see Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer, bro? That would be insane. Yo. Oh, my God. I mean, because she was already in Ant-Man. She, 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 she looked good still. She looked oh, good. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get Danny DeVito up in here. He's still running and kicking. Get him as the penguin down there. Oh, wait, I no, think, uh, what was the other movie that I saw her in? Uh, no, I think he died. That's right. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Penguin and Joker died in the Burton movies. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, I mean, I know Jack can't do it. He's too old for that. He, he, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but still, um, Michelle's still around. So, uh, well, you know, Catwoman's still around. So that can still happen. That'd, that'd be crazy cameo. Um, do you that have anything be, else you want to say? Cameo, Yo, just come up at the end, just raising her head, son, like they did in Batman Returns at the end. <laughs> so the one, uh, thing, the one thing I wanted to talk about before we moved on was mm. Tom Cruise got to see this movie already. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes. Tom Cruise, for whatever reason, asked to see this movie early, which they did. And what and did he, he say, buddy? He called up the director to praise him. Yo, I've never even heard of that before. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like the fact that Tom Cruise watched the movie and he's praising the director. Like I don't even think I've ever heard of the actor like actually do this. Do that? Like at, maybe back in the 70s or something? Maybe? Yeah. That's a, Not I mean, now. That's like very yo, rare dude. For that to happen. That just goes to show you how great this movie is. Like I've never even seen anybody do that for a comic book movie. Period. Oh no. Honestly, no. Like. Tom Cruise, out of nowhere, Tom Cruise just decides to go see this movie. And yeah, be like, right. hey, listen, you got a, got, a, got a gem on your hand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know <laughs> if he going to be in the Mission Impossible verse. I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, Tom Cruise going to be in the DC verse. Maybe he saw something. He's like, you know what? I'm going to play one of these, these roles out here. I'm going to be Batman out here. <laughs> Yo, imagine, son. If he was Batman, bro, uh, that'd be crazy. Nah. <laughs> that <would> yo, be <laughs> yo, I could just, yo, I could just imagine him yelling at Robin with the same <laughs> tone that he yelled at him from. Uh, what was this? Yo, what was this thing on on Tropic Thunder? Robin, get your ass in those videos now. We have the same Gotham City now. 
I love that movie. <laughs> the Joker's attacking now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what was his name on that? Oh, I almost got his name in that character. That was so it was so hilarious, bro. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that would be hilarious. But anyway, that just goes to show you at, at the end of the day how great this movie is, and that's just that just elevated my hype level to this movie. Like maybe DC did it right this time. I don't know. Maybe I I don't know because we had some good directors in the past, but it sounded like Lucietti really did his thing here. And they yeah. was able to make something very special. Now, my my question is, can DC continue this trend? What's the next movie after Flash? Blue, Blue Beetle, right? I think so. Yes. So we'll see when well, Blue Beetle comes out. But so yeah, we'll far. see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and we're gonna I talk think... more about the universe as well because um, Ben Affleck came and said yeah. his piece too. But we're gonna get to that. Um. All right, so we also got to talk about real quick on some Marvel's news. We got to talk about that. So apparently, Daredevil: Born Again mm. has recasted Vanessa. Um, so the actress that played Vanessa is not going to play on the Netflix. Is not going to play um, Vanessa in this universe. We're actually going to get her, but she's recasted. I'm a little disappointed in that. No, not. Not because, well, Vanessa was a big character. Don't get me wrong, but this just leads me to believe that this is going to be a new continuity for Daredevil. So the Netflix yeah. stuff is gone. That's what I feel Shame. like. And Shame. I'm saying this because um, I don't know if you guys heard, but also the actors that play uh, Froggy and Karen, Karen will not be the same anymore. They're not going to be uh, in it. So I don't know if they're getting recasted. I don't know if they're just not going to be in the story in this season one. But it's safe to say that they're going to be recasted. And if that's the case, then that means that um, you good? Yeah, I'll just grab a drink. Okay, cool. So that just means to me that it's done. Like, like we're getting a whole new continuity. So everything that happened from season one to three is gone. So I guess you could think of it as being in another universe, I guess. So or, or, yeah, I was gonna say reset, but not it's not really a reset. I'm about to say, yeah, nothing, especially nothing, when nothing in the universe got reset. Nah. <laughs> nah, basically. Besides Oh, uh, but remember, you know Peter Parker was, but that's about yeah, right. That's, yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, we dealt we delved into multiverses with Loki. So I don't know, maybe the Netflix heroes came from a different universe. Well, the ones we saw on the Netflix are a different universe. Maybe. You, I don't you know. know what's weird? Like, they they would, like, subtly, subtly hint, at, like, at the Battle of New York, like, the picture you have. Yeah, they would say the event. The I event. think they said they the would, event. Yeah. But they wouldn't say exactly what. Or, like, they would throw little stuff like, oh, you, you act like you're the guy with the ham. Like, yeah, they would yeah, throw yeah. little stuff yeah. like that, you know? But I think that was, like, the only references to the Avengers and... The Battle yeah, of New York. You, they, you really didn't get much. It was like mostly Easter eggs in the background. Right. So, and they did that with um, Agents of Shield too. They reference everything else, like like every if, event if that remember, happened heavily. Agents of Shield had to tie in with the MCU, if I remember that. Um, yes and no, because I remember Josh. It wasn't Josh Whedon that did it. It was his brother, I think. Or something like that, that created that show. And uh, Kevin Feige didn't want that. He didn't want to do nothing with the shows. He was like, "Yo, Coulson is 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 going in the movie universe. He's gone. Like, I don't know what to tell you." And that's where I think a lot of people got confused. Who like, "Oh, didn't he die in Avengers?" Right. And then, and then Which they, they, they he said, did, oh, but he, they brought him he, back. He's a clone or whatever it was. Of if I remember correctly, right? Which is cra which was crazy. It was done cool. It was just like crazy. So. That's why a lot of people at that time were like, yo, put them together. Like, we want to see Coulson with the Avengers again. We want to see him interact with Iron Man. Now he knows that he's alive and stuff like that. Um, even, like, the actress who plays Daisy, she wanted them to cross over with the Avengers at some point, too. Uh, but that never happened. And, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. ended, and we never got that crossover. So 
Biggie. may happen in the future. I don't know. But again, that show was very confused. It was very good. So if yeah. you haven't watched it, check it out. But it was very confusing because characters that you saw in the MCU, you saw here. And then everything that happened in Avengers, in the MCU, they referenced it in the show. Yeah. And kind of follow along with it until, <laughs> yo, until you got to like, uh, I think the fifth season when they started doing their own stuff. And cause they, they was like, all right, well, it's never going to happen. So we can just do whatever we want at that point. But yeah, like I said, um, at the end of the day, I'm kind of sad that we're not getting a continuation of the Netflix because we got so much character development from Matt in that series. And I kind of hate the fact that Kingpin has powers, but here we are. And i rather we have that, but i rather that and, and, and <laughs> the homie uh, Punisher come back at John Bernthal than nothing. So you got to take what you can get at this point, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's move on. Stick with, uh, with Marvel since the rest of the stuff is uh, DC. Oh, what else, what other Marvel we have to talk about? The oh Moon Knight, right? Moon Knight, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. According to um, who was it? The director? Uh, hold on. Let me I think double check. All right. So while Buggy checks that, so apparently we found out that um Moon Knight season two will be coming out, and it might include a Kang Barry. Which, which is, is uh, pretty King cool. Amatut, which I'm not surprised. King Amatut, yes. Because I remember um, you told me off camera that they mentioned him in the first season. I think they did. But I'm not sure. I could, I'm not sure. I'd have to go back. Well, when we do our phase four, you know, review, we get which it, we're going to yeah. do later on, we'll we'll find out. But, yeah, I think they did mention him, like, very subtly. Like, I didn't even know that was him until we got Ant-Man came out. You know what I mean? Um, but yes, Ramatut is the same person that you saw at the end at the end credits of Admin. So that Ramatut is going to be in Moon Knight 2. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's pretty cool, but I feel like you're gonna have the same problem as Ant Man. Because you know, you the know problem with Ant Man Moon Knight hmm. was supposed to be a one off. Right. It was supposed to happen with season two. Now all of a sudden we get into season two now. Mm-hmm. You know? Um Again, can we get, I, can I we like, get more Moon Knight? More Moon Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I liked Moon Knight a lot, but I hated the fact that we didn't get enough Moon Knight. I, 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 I we, I don't know. It, it was just, I don't know. Like the first three episodes were really strong. After that, yeah. And the, and the other thing too is like we didn't even see the third personality that uh Mark that or, much. Yeah, like I think no Jake Lockley. Jake Lockley, but I'm saying like. The ones that we that we've seen, Mark and um, uh, Mark Spector and um, I think what's the other one? I forgot his name already. You know what's crazy? Um, so I I was reading a little bit of Moon Knight before I saw the show. It's funny, man. And Jake, I, I was too. I was. Too. Yeah, yeah. And Jake Lockley is the Batman personality. Like the yeah. I, yeah. I'm 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 ripping you up, bro. Like you get these yeah. hands, bro. Okay. Get these hands, bro. If you don't tell me where Magneto is right now. Um and I think <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> hey, you sound like Batman. Where is he? <laughs> Swear to me. <laughs> I said, ah, you see you saw Batman begins, bro. I love that movie. <laughs> um no, but seriously though, like that's not what I got. Like, I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, what I was wanting to say was, so Jay Lockley was the Batman. And um, Steve Grant, that was his name. There you go. Steve Grant. Yeah, Steve Grant was um, the Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Right. The Bru well, in the comics, he was like the Bruce Wayne personality. The one that had that had his ear on white collar crime, like, like Bruce was supposed to be back in the day. So, um, and I forgot Jake Lockley. I think Jake Lockley was like, the I don't know if you well I don't know if you know this um he's supposed to be like the Maxis Malone <laughs> you know what I'm talking about okay so he's supposed to be like the Maxis Malone of the personality so they did it so in the show they did it different where it's a part of the these different personalities and 
that's fine. But it's just like, I think it wasn't necessary because the thing with Moon Knight was you didn't know if he was a supernatural character or not. Like, you didn't know if Khonshu was real or not. You didn't know if he had actual powers or not. And I feel like he was supposed to be like a, 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 a gritty street, like Daredevil. Yeah, at least, or like Batman, and he wasn't that. He was a supernatural beat, and I kind of hated that they did that. And uh, I think that's kind of when they went wrong. Like they went more of the modern take with him, which is like the 2012 run, I think, when they delve more into Steve, into uh, Moon Knight being just like uh, having split personality syndrome or whatever. That's what they went with that. Um, so again. So I'm bringing this up to just say, like, that was the problem with the first season. So in the second season, you're going to bring in Kang, which apparently people have a problem with because he's fighting somebody that he don't got no business fight. Like, Kang is an Avengers level threat, and you got him fighting one person. But don't, don't they usually, like, face off against each other, Moon Knight and Kang? I don't know. I honestly, I don't. I I mean, in the comics, I don't know because you know, Moon Knight is still a regular dude. He's just very extreme. The, I mean, yeah, but the one I was reading, I just don't remember who was writing it. It was mm -hmm. where Moon Knight woke up in the mental mental institute, and he had no idea how he got there. Oh, that's that's the 12, 2012 run, I think. Yeah, I I, I can't yeah. remember because it, it was like so long ago. Right, because that was like the after the Mr. Knight era, I think, when he started wearing the suit. I think you're right. I think this was it, yeah. Yeah, I think that was after when he started wearing the suit. And that's what everybody thought he was really crazy. Like, nah, you've been <laughs> you've been wilding out, bro. Oh <laughs> um, but yeah, so again, I, I just feel like I don't I don't know what you're gonna do with season two. Um yeah. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm still gonna see what they're gonna do, but yeah, other than that, we'll see. Uh, Buggy, you have anything else to say about that? Nah, I mean, nah. I get, I understand people who are upset with fucking Kang and all that stuff, but whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. And you're that, not going to make... please everybody out here, bro. Exactly. We're we're, we're not. It's, it's just it's it's too much. It's it's like whatever. All right, whatever, whatever. All right. So we're getting off that news now. Strictly DC stuff. We got a couple of DC things here. We're gonna talk about. Um. So, real quick, we're going to go through some real quick before we get to the big enchilada. Uh, two big enchiladas. So, uh, Superman and Lois TV show. Uh, they have casted, um, I Michael, forgot Michael Chiklis. No, not Michael Chiklis. I'm, I'm I was like, what? No. Nah, the thing nah, is in there? No, no, no. I said Michael Chiklis. No. Nah. <laughs> the thing is Lex Luthor. News play. What? Everybody. Oh, I gotta get that. I know it's Michael something. I I, Michael, I know that for sure. Michael I just forgot Cundance. his name. Oh, I, I was close. I was close. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Chickless Cutlets. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, all right. That's yeah, my yeah. bad. Well, 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 we'll, 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 right, say, we'll say you're close. We'll say you're close. Yeah. yeah well, well, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, they sound like they got the literal same name. It's crazy. So, uh, Michael Cutlets is Lex Luthor. We talked about this before. He's the Lex Luthor in, um, the new Superman and Lois. And I think he's going to debut in the first new episode of season three. I'm not 100% sure. However, I haven't watched it yet, so I will be watching it. You might get a review from me. I'm not sure. But, you know, I, I want to see him in the role. I want to see how he looks. Um, Actually, no, they had a picture, too. It, I'm going to show the <laughs> picture right here. Got a picture of him. Looks menacing. Looks like he done done some hard time. <laughs> Look like he didn't. He didn't. He didn't got the eye roll workout. You know what I'm saying? He honestly looks Busting like a more up heads and stuff. Uh, Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nah, son. I'm not tolerating failure. Like nah, I ain't the Gene Hackman, bro. Like you, you, you gonna get these hands, bro? <laughs> if you don't give me my kryptonite when I when I first ordered it, if I don't get my kryptonite right now, bro, you get these hands, bro. I don't tolerate. Dude, I have I haven't so, seen those Christopher Reeves Superman movies in so long. Yo, bro. me too. I haven't seen them in a year. It's been a hot, literal hit. Hot minute. Yo, a hot. Minute. I might just do that because I think HBO Max still got it. I might just do that. I might just do that. All right, so we'll, we'll put that on the side. Also, 
Uh, real quick, we have um an encrypted message from Zach Snapper. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> ah, um, I think he posted it on his um Twitter a no, while it was, ago. Um... Like a week ago, right? Or something like that. It's, oh, this, it's no, some, this week he did it, right? It's some specific app that he uses to promote stuff. I don't remember the name of it right now. Yeah, I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But I think it was on Twitter, though, no? Yeah, maybe. I'm, or something I'm like sure. that. Yeah. Yeah. So it says save the date. I forgot what the date was. You remember, Buggy? Uh, I think it said towards the end of April. Yeah, because yeah, I'm looking yeah. at it now. Yeah. I'm looking at it now. My bad. My okay. bad. My bad. And it has has yeah, April 28th to the 30th. Yeah. Save the date. Okay. okay. So what does this mean? Yo, For, I, and I think it said from Lord Darkseid, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so now I come to find out that was Darkseid's voice. Yeah, Ray Porter. Uh, Ray Porter. Yeah. What does this mean? <laughs> what does this mean? Like, what the fuck? I, I, I think, what I does think, this mean? I think there Are was we going to start a verse, bro? Like, I think what there, was going also, on there was also a quote from Peter Saffron about it as well. <clears throat> oh, word? We have the ability to sell outside of HBO Max, if that makes sense. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure out if there are certain shows coming out that would be better served elsewhere or if there's not real estate on HBO Max for us. But we like the, we like the idea of having shows on Amazon and Hulu and Netflix. It just broadens the DC audience, which is true. This is very true. And that's why they were saying a while ago, you know, we were hearing that they Yo, if we get sell. Zack Snyder's Justice League, I'm out. I'm out. To, 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 I'm ne- out. to the Netflix, ah. bro. Ah. Yo, we, yo. Oh. Yo, Adrian, yo. <laughs> we're going to get the oh. new gods. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big Bertha. Oh, God. Mr. Miracle. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Mr. T- it was a myth there, Mr. Mur. Oh, uh, oh, uh, like I'm, I'm just salivating at that. Yo, if if we do get, if it does go to Netflix, Netflix got that money. They in debt, but they got that money. They, they, debt, that, but they got money. <laughs> yeah, they got, it, but they got money. So they, if they able to get that money, Jack Snyder to make these movies, man. Could be getting the Batman versus Deathstroke movie we always wanted, dude. Maybe a show we're out of it, dude. Maybe if, Justice oh League my show, God, like bro, it was back in the that, day. That Batman and Deathstroke, dude. If I if I get that, I'm perfectly fine, bro. Oh yeah, it's just like I'm I'm good. And and honestly, Ben don't even need to be in no other Justice League. Just give me that. One. Yeah, right. Just give me that. Just give me that. I don't I don't even care. Just give me that one. One off, we good to go. I'm good. I'm set. I'm set. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, so I, we're very excited about that, but at the same vein, and this is one of the big stories we have to cover. Um, Ben Affleck oh, has yeah. spoken. Oh yeah. Uh, Perfect I think segue. he spoke to Vanity Fair, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, da, 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 da. I have IGN, but it might be Vanity Fair. Okay, so well, well, whatever. He had a he had a recent interview where he spoke to uh someone and. He said, basically, that he's not going to be playing Batman anymore. Like, he's done. He doesn't He, he doesn't want to play. Well, we already knew that. But he's not going to be in Gunn's universe. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Mostly because of his experiences in Justice League and, and during the Snyderverse. Like, he loves the Snyder's movies. He would rather deal with Snyder and, and be in his universe rather than James Gunn's. That's which is which is the, funny, which it contradicts to what he said about Alex. Flash, you don't bring where, that up, right? Where he feels right. like he perfectly played uh, Batman to how it was supposed to be, right? You know what I'm saying? Now he's saying, "Well, I did. I, you know, I was in the Flash. I finally got this character right. You know, for the five minutes that I'm there, so check it out." Yeah, yeah. And it's it's. I really have a few things to say about it. So this is what I want to say first. Um. The fact that he doesn't want to go with James Gunn in his universe does speak values. Well, maybe, I maybe because it doesn't that. fit to what he has in mind for whatever. Right, which he is. thought, which in his opinion is more like what he played in Snyderverse. That's what. Yeah. That's the Batman he loved. But unfortunately, yeah. 
It's not what everybody else looks. Agreed. Unfortunately. Sucks. It, yeah. Listen, and it does suck. And I'm hey, listen, I'm a Snyder. I'm not a Snyder Colt. I'm not. We both are. No. Nah. No. No, we're not. I want to make that very, very clear. I'm not even in that camp. But I will say I love this Batman. This Batman was one of the best iterations of live action that we ever got. Simon Patterson, he did a good job. Uh, he really surprised me on that. But speaking strictly on Ben, he was literally one of the best Batmans. And believe it or not, if you don't, that's fine. I was with him the first day they casted him. Oh, yeah. But, and I remember, I, I was in college. Junior, yeah. was it junior college? There was a junior college. Yeah. Or I was like in, in, in like a college college. And they announced, actually, yeah, I was in junior college, that they... That Bruce, I said Bruce. Um, Ben Affleck was going to be Batman, and I remember I found and I looked. And funny enough, I, I read that article on IGN. Funny enough, and a lot of people wasn't cool with that. But it's it's part of course because every other Batman we've had or every other casting we had in that universe, people didn't like. People wasn't feeling keep. Look what happened, Mister. People Mom. wasn't feeling. Hmm. Mr. Mom's playing Batman. What? What? Get that out of here. He is not Batman. He's not tall enough to be Batman. Oh, my God. He's so skinny. What is this? He's out of here. He's not a good Batman. He's not supposed to talk. What's this? <laughs> Look what happened. Look what happened. One of the best Batmans out there today. And mind you, he was out here murdering people, too, which I don't understand. <laughs> Why everybody was so gun ho about uh, Ben's Batman out here disintegrating fools, but y'all ain't got a problem with Keaton and all the other Batmans after that doing that, but whatever. I mean, so <laughs> remember, I don't have yo, to remember save when you, Keaton? But I can't, I, I, I'm not gonna kill you, but I, 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 I don't have I'm to save you save either. You. I don't have to save you. <laughs> Bounce. <laughs> I'm like, that's not bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson out here just closing his eyes and shit. <laughs> and then, yo. Um, yeah, I, I, I specifically, real quick, I specifically remember. Yo, remember when he killed the black dude? Keaton? Yeah. He was getting his ass whooped so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And y'all gonna sit here and tell me Y'all gonna get mad at Affleck, bro? Like that's crazy. But anyway, um, he, you know, he really did play a, a great bat. He was the most comic accurate Batman we've had, dude. Yeah. That that warehouse scene alone. The was warehouse Arkham, scene. Bro. Oh my god. The fact that the way the way it started, him oh. just coming from the ground, bro. Like, come on. Coming no, up from the ground, even... just shooting those EMP things to the on the guns, yeah. like awesome Arkham Knight. Hey, he was yo. He was lifting people, bro. He was out here fighting you, you, people you at the a time. A freaking pull a crate to hit somebody. I'm like, what? Stab somebody real quick. Uh, uh. Oh my god, he he did the exact move out of Arkham with a grapple gun. Grab them, boom, and then close line them, bro. <laughs> nah, son. Nah, when he said, I think he, I think he used the grapple too, um, to throw like a crate at somebody yeah, and do it at the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right, bro. You, you, all Yo, I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, first, all right, you do it too much. The first time he showed up as Batman, he was just hanging on the wall. Yo, like, hanging dude, on like a, like a, dude, like a, I'm like, yo, damn, I was that. like, nah. I said, see, this is going to be a good movie. But see, you know what the crazy thing is real quick? I love Man of Steel 1. I love BBS. Which is crazy. And honestly, yeah. I will, I will watch Man of Steel 200 times before I watch uh, Batman vs. Superman. I agree. Which again, I, I'm not saying man is. I'm not saying <sighs> Batman vs Superman was a, the greatest movie of all time. I'm not saying problems. that. It has its problems, yes, but it's not as bad as people keep making it out to be. It's yeah. not. I'm sorry, but it's and not. it's funny the extended version it was better. Everything, everything flows. Everything flows really well. It's just you know the thing with Zack Snyder is he makes long very movies. long movies. It's just yeah. what it is. Speak, what it is. Speak, speaking of long movies, completely unrelated to this, but supposedly James Cameron's nine hour cut of Avatar is coming to Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Of what? Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. The latest Avatar movie. <laughs> this nigga made a hold on, hold on, hold on. He made a nine-hour movie. And he of cut what? it into three. I don't. The way of the water, bro. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. What are you? What are you recording for three hours, bro? What the hell are you? Well, what is wrong with James Cameron, bro? What first of all, first of all, recording. <laughs> You okay? This guy, give yourself a minute. We don't want recording you to... nine, recording nine hours of a film to cut it to cut it into three three hours. Like what? How much of how... that is story? Like what did you cut from that? Like, Wait, I, what I are you? Know. Yo, I, I guarantee you, we had a bonus scene. I, I guarantee. And I'm we not gonna a... watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm I, just gonna... I, well, I, I, I gonna watch that that scene YouTube. must have had been like twenty minutes <laughs> max. Bro. What I'm gonna watch is somebody's YouTube uh, video explaining what's the difference between the nine hour cut and the three hour cut. I need that, hey, please. I, I want to see that video too, cause that's crazy. What are you doing for nine hours, bro? And y'all want to sit here and piss and moan about Zack Snyder's uh, being four hours? Are you serious, bro? Yeah, look how many people went to go nine hour Avatar. movie doing what? Avatar was like three hours. Look how many people went to go watch that. I went to go watch it, and I said, yeah, and I told right. you that's on right. this video, I wasn't gonna watch. It. I just, you know what? Nah, it looks kind of cool. I'm glad I watched it. It was actually pretty cool. I mean, the third act was pretty cool. Um, other than that, like, all right, we we gonna have to do a video on that too because I need to see <laughs> person that did that video. But anyway, like I said, to, to go back to what I'm saying. Um, I think it's kind of you know he was saying that. You know, Zack Snyder's justice, you know, Zack Snyder's universe is where he loved playing Batman. Yeah. And I feel bad for this. I, I really feel bad for him because he's always had the the short end of the stick when it comes to the comic book feel. Yeah. There it up. Yeah. Everybody crapped on him for that. Now he's in a universe where everybody's crapping on him for Batman. Not that he did that he did bad, not that, but just because of the fact that. They're complaining about, oh, he's not true to the character. He's not this. He's not that. And it's like, bro, like that does something to you. And being Batman is one of the best things. Like, like he has his own Batcave, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Yeah. That in his house. Yeah. That man loves Batman. Like he oh, yeah. loves Batman. Yep. And it's just like <laughs> WB just f them over. You know, and I hate that. It, it it and like it, and then you, when you read on, it's like it gets to the point where he says that yo, he had to like drink and stuff like that. Yeah, it's either drink or you know delete himself, which is like how like you you you're on a you're on a billion dollar like movie, you get to be Batman. Like, what is so stressful about that? Like that should be like one of your happiest moments in yeah. life, and it was just it sounded like it was one of the worst. So I can't blame him for for feeling that way. I can't blame him for that. Now, I bring that up to say he doesn't want to be in Guns Universe. He doesn't want to do do anything with that. However, if this net if Zack Snyder with his thing, if that is what I think it is to save the date, if that is Snyderverse coming back on Netflix, Ben's going to come back, I think. I think so because he loves Zack Snyder. This man wanted to do reshoots and asked Ben to come shoot in his backyard. He was like, I bet. I got you. And that's when we got that scene, that great scene with him and the Joker. Just, just, yeah. just, just like, like, walling out on each other <laughs> until Superman comes. Like, it, it's, it's awesome. And it's just a shame that his universe, like, I don't know, man. Buggy, how do you feel about this, man? Like, what, what's going on? It sounds like you're very perplexed about it. Yeah, like I am because at one th at one hand, I am excited for Guns Universe, and I do want this to succeed because DC needs a win. We need, yeah. One. yeah. But at the same time, it's like y'all treated Ben so bad. Like this man yeah. just wanted to make a very good comic book movie, being one of the best characters that he wanted to play. <laughs> like he loves Batman, wanted to play Batman. And y'all made this dude being y'all made this dude miserable on set. Because DC, if, imagine I mean, if he actually got to, to make do. his movie, yeah, everybody would probably having a different tone about him. 
Exactly. Y'all don't even let him make his movie. Yeah. And that just that, that just that just frustrates me. Even when we get to um the Shazam joint too, which that's another thing too. We're gonna get to in a minute as well. But yeah, it's just the WB need to get their stuff together. If they can't get their stuff together, and if ju- if guns plan doesn't work, they need to get sold somewhere else. Because WB don't know what they do. I'm sorry. Yeah. They don't know. I, at this point, I'd rather them go to Disney at this point. <laughs> I, I, I write. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'd rather that. I was just thinking maybe, just maybe Universal probably. I don't know about that. Oh. Or, or Legendary Pictures. I'd rather Legendary. I, uh, if I had to choose, I Legendary. 100%. 100%. 100%. Because... I don't think Universal know what they they can they can barely get a Hulk movie out. I have... <laughs> <laughs> no, and they and and they keep milking the the cow that is uh the Fast franchise. Oh yeah, I, the the fact they even made ten movies is insane. Yeah, like they went to space. <laughs> Let that sink in. They went to space. My boy. I, I I remember back in the day in the in the movie talk days they were always joking about that like oh what they're gonna go to space next, lo and behold they did. Ten years later, we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Other than that, I um I, I, like I said, I'm still excited for Guns Universe. Um, I'm very I am nervous a little bit because I don't know if we're gonna get more Marvel isms in this. Hmm. Which I don't think DC needs to do. I think they need no. they just need to get the right people and WB needs to trust their directors. That's what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what they need to do. They need to protect their IP because that's not what they were doing. So um yeah, and I wish Ben Affleck well. I I and but like I said, I, I hope he does I hope, I wish him well and um I hope we do get him as Batman or direct a Batman movie in the future. Either one, I'm good with. Uh, Bug, you got anything to say before we move on? Nah. Nah? You you kind of echoed the same sentiments that I had about the Snyder stuff. I got you, got you. I bet. Because so, uh-huh. I, I, mm-hmm. I did want to see that universe play out, but... I did, too. I really did, too. Is. Yeah, you know, and I just feel like, real quick, people just weren't... um, People just weren't... What's the word? Um, patient. Mm. Because all of the comments that people were saying about BVS, about Man of Steel, all of that got remedied in Jack, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah. And people just weren't patient. They weren't. That's the problem they, nowadays. People don't have that patience for... Yeah, they got... That ADD is crazy. Yeah. yeah, like, they wanted Superman to be Christopher Reeves. And it's funny because, like, I, I I told you I, I watch uh, AEW and stuff like that and it's it's funny because like they do long term long term storytelling and it's crazy how like a story will start in like 2020 but it'll happen this will happen this and that happen but then it'll all come full circle like a year later which is dope and it's crazy how you're more committed in wrestling than you are in your own movie type like that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Like that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why. Um, and I, you know what? I love Cavill Superman. I love the fact that he wasn't that arse, Jimmy. I need, I need to yeah. help out Jimmy. Oh yeah. my god, that, that boy he's calling me. Yeah. Oh, I have to lift that building. Let me help you. Like he wasn't like that. He was like, yo, touch my mom's and breaking, breaking your jaw, bro. Oh yeah. Okay, that's, who why, you are. that's why I love that. I love that clip that you sent. Uh, what I think it was last week, where Darkseid showed up. He just ba 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 ba. <laughs> oh, from Justice, yeah, yeah like, yo. you, oh, ba, ba, you, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Like, yo, everybody had to hold him back. Yo, yo, John had to hold. Yo, him Superman, back. chill, like, chill, yo, chill, 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 chill. Kal El, chill, chill, chill. Clark, chill. He's like, nah, son, yo, menace, get off me. <laughs> Yo, and that's what I was saying. And, and see, and that's what that's why I was saying too in the chat. I was like, yo, people keep saying, you know, 
Clark, uh, uh, um, uh, Snyderverse Superman is not like Justice League Superman when I compare it to. I'm like, yo, yeah. clearly, yo. And I remember that. That's and I just saw that too. Dark Side's um people were about to be annihilated by Brainiac, bro. And Superman was like, good. <laughs> what they got to do with me? Yeah. No, remember, I tried to help y'all out before. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You picked that man <laughs> yeah. up and sent that man to get healed. Forget y'all. I don't know. And that's what I'm saying. Like, even if, even when I looked at the rest, because I just finished Justice League, right? Uh, we watched Justice League. Superman had attitude. Oh, yeah. He had oh, attitude. Yeah. Y'all made it oh, sound yeah. like this man was like didn't can't get mad oh, or nothing, yeah. and that's what I hate. Like he's supposed to like y'all act like he's yes he's human. I mean he's not really human. He was raised by humans, yes. But y'all act like this man can't do nothing. Yeah, he can't be emotion, can't be mad, can't make mistakes, and that was my problem. <clears throat> man of Steel, Superman made mistakes. Remember, this man was Superman for a day. Yeah, exactly. A day. And then look look at him in BVS helping around the whole world. And yes, people are going to call you a monster. You know, people are going to fear you. Of course, you are a godlike being. You're going to have that regardless. Like, you think we're not going to be scared? If I saw Superman right now, I'd be terrified. I'd be excited, but I'd be like terrified. Like, yo. And and that's and, where that that's where that BVS opening scene is like a perfect reason of why everybody e- a-, fears a either fears him or b uh or look at him as a as a god because yeah. he is yeah. to everybody else he could throw literally he could throw me to space to the moon oh yeah and oh, throw yeah. me back and, and have me splat like a damn um wind on a damn windshield like a like a bug on a windshield oh, if he yeah. wanted to oh yeah I'd be afraid of him too. I love him. But I'd be afraid of him too. I'd be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's just, you know, people were just too critical of Snyder's universe. They were just too critical. And Very a, critical. I, I know, it wasn't fair. And before we move on, like, that's where, I, like I said, like, that's where I wanted to, to see where everything was leading to. Because, like, we saw what happened in, night, in Batman's uh, Nightmare. Uh, well, we didn't know if it's a nightmare or it actually happened because we'll never know. Exactly, because because some of y'all, because y'all y'all decide, oh, he's not the Batman I know. He's not remember, the Superman I know. Remember, there were supposed to be two Justice League movies. Uh, yeah, two back to, I, yeah, two parters. Yeah, and I think the second one was supposed to have them in the Nightmare Verse, Something and they were that. trying to figure out a way to get everything back to normal. Mm-hmm. And that's why Bruce got that that vision and all that other crap. So it. I, Story was there. Mm. Y'all just so hung up on the Martha thing. Like, really? Really? That's why did you say that name? <laughs> so, let me tell y'all something. If somebody was beating my ass like that, I'd call out his mother's name too. Especially if our mothers got the same name. Yes, I would. Martha would want you to stop, Clark. Like, what you mean? What you mean, bro? What you mean by that? <laughs> to get him to stop. Beating my ass? Yes, I would. And that's, and that's the other thing. That's where I, I know we're supposed to get off topic, but whatever. And that's where all those nightmares. Batman was like the the Martha uh, graveyard scene, or when he was at the, I forgot which nightmare it was. But he was oh, you he saw was, the bat. He 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 saw his mother's. Is it yeah, he saw the mother's grave, and then the yeah. bat, big bat, came out. Right. Yeah. Big man bat. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And that played out later in that exact moment when he said, Martha, you're letting him kill Martha. Why did you say that name? And then on top of that, and then, and again, before we move on, another one was um, Batman, he's the world's greatest detective. He should have known that, uh, uh, he should have known not to fight Superman or it was no reason for him to fight Superman. Yo, did you not see the nightmare scene? <laughs> He had the nightmare scene because he saw Clark kill him and enslaved the world. And he even of told, course he, he's he gonna act told, like that. Like, come on, he even bro. told Alfred, even if there's a one percent chance, I have to. And then, and I love that line because I think after that he says, "Um, 
We were never, we were never good guys. We do what we wanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how about yeah, let's be real? Yeah. You know, we, you know, you know, how many good guys are left out here? Exactly. Exactly. And it's just like, y'all, and that's why I get so upset with fans sometimes because they will sit here and focus on one thing, but then don't see everything else. Yeah. I hate that. But yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. That was, a little, that was a big rant. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, real quick. Okay. So we got, uh, Shazam, uh, the director of Fury of the Gods. Uh, he said that Batman and Superman, which was Cavill and, uh, Ben Affleck, Affleck. Batman were supposed to be in Shazam, yep. uh, along with Gal Gadot, but they had to take him out or they had canceled it or whatever. And it was only Gal Gadot that showed up. Now, this is very important because this tells me two things. Actually, no, it tells me one thing. I think Gunn is going to use Shazam for his universe. I think so, too. Because if that was the case, they wouldn't have showed Wonder Woman. Yeah. Wonder Woman wouldn't have been in there because they would have took her out, too. And, and that's the other thing, too, that they Wonder Woman is still up in the air. Right. Because apparently, I, I, because I, I, oh, I, I could have, I could have sworn, um, James Gunn has said that they're keeping one of them. I, I could have sworn they said. That. I think you're right. Um, like they, they're still trying to figure out what to do with her. Right. Um, uh, and my, and that's my thing though. But if you're gonna keep, like, if you're doing a full reboot, do a full reboot. Don't keep none of the act. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, um, if you want them to do other that's, stuff, that's different. Huh? That's my other thing. I mean, you could reset the universe and still keep some of the same old characters, but like. Making new continuity with them, you know what I'm saying? Right, and I wouldn't mind that. Or, 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 just make um, what's the name? Um, just have them as different characters. That too, that works. Yeah, I, I, I'd be cool with that. I, I could see, I could see Henry Cavill as Orion from the New Gods. Ooh. I can see that. Ooh, that'd be dope. I can see that. I can see that. See that? That's the other thing. When are we are when are we actually gonna get to the new gods? Actually, it was crazy. We were supposed to get a new gods movie. That was crazy. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We were supposed yeah. to get one from Ava DuVernay and we never got it. They canceled I remember, it. I was yep. like, bro, it's yep. like, yo, why y'all keep announcing stuff y'all ain't gonna do? Yeah. That sounds like a perfect movie to do. And you can oh, put yeah. that in any universe, honestly. Honestly. But I you know what? Something tells me we are gonna get new gods this um in this gun oh, yeah, verse. For I think sure. we're gonna for get sure. new gods. For sure. Because this first one is called, this ch first chapter is called Gods and Monsters. And, yeah. I think we are going to get like a little tease. Like that's going to be the Thanos uh, mm -hmm. and credit. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that. I think we're going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're about to get out of here, guys. Um, But before we go, wait, 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 one more thing. We have one more thing. Yeah, the Nightwing. Yeah. No, I was going to say that. Oh, okay. I thought you said yeah, 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 no, no, it's just not, not school, it's cool. Yeah, I was gonna say before we get out of here, uh, I did want to share this really, really quick. Um, so Nightwing um has its you know solo issue. Uh, issue one hundred and five will be told entirely from Dick Grayson's point of view. So, uh, it's basically going to be first person if I'm reading that correctly. Yes. Um, and that's and I wanted to talk about that really quick because I don't think that's ever been done in a comic before. I don't Which is, so. like, pretty freaking dope because um, I love this. I love that they're pushing boundaries like this. Like, I'm surprised they didn't do it before. Like, I mean, we've had panels of this, but never, yeah. like, in a whole story, which is pretty <clears throat> cool, I think. Uh, what do you think about that, bud? I think it's a pretty cool idea and concept to do that, honestly. Yeah. yeah Especially a character cool. like Nightwing that does, like, a lot of flips and, like, I'm interested in seeing how that plays out, honestly. You know, I ain't gonna hold you. I just want to see this so I can see uh, Barbara up close. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she got that. She got that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna... <laughs> she got that cake, 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 cake. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, oh. Enough perviness for the day. <laughs> at least once. At least once. Oh, of course, of course. You know, we've been doing this for like, what, an hour now? Uh, something like that. 
Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I, I lose track of time <laughs> when, I, when we do these things, honestly. Yeah, we, I mean, we have fun doing these. You know what I'm saying? We we have a lot of fun doing it. That's why we keep doing it. We keep giving y'all that good, good entertainment. You know what I'm and saying? And, guys, we are going to watch Shazam later tonight. Yes, we and... are. I give you a review, too. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to do a, a both spoiler and non-spoiler as well. We'll do, like, the first five minutes non-spoiler, and then the rest of it will be spoiled. Are you, you know, watching it, it with uh, Sam or by yourself? No, nah, I'm watching it. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going by myself. I don't, I don't think Sam can make it this okay. week. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna get that to you. So be on the lookout for that. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, smash on the like button, smash on the subscribe, subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Definitely comment down below. And we are out of here, guys. Deuces. Be safe. I love. You. Take your naps. Please support. <laughs>